Hi guys. So last time we left our uh, plugin um, at this point where we uh, were uh, able to um, list uh, some jobs and view the job page. But as you see, I've manually added some of the skills uh, that we added using the custom taxonomy and what I want to do now is pretty much do it what I'm going to do now is pretty much uh, add it's add to the let me type the password Uh, what I want to do now is to um, show you the actual workflow that I follow uh, in real time, actually. Uh, so what I'm going to do is um, install first a plugin bundle from my Bitbucket account where I have some tools uh, useful for plugins development. Then I'm going to add to the plugin um, the single page template so for the for the job uh, so for the job post type uh, this is the archive so what I want to do is to be able to hit the uh, post and then under the uh, under the title or at the end here uh, display the um, uh, custom taxonomies that we added so the uh, job category and the skills for the job and uh, to do that uh, we need to copy so to grab a template file from the teeth from this team but I also want to have a fallback in case uh, the uh, team that the website is using is not uh, the latest WordPress web, uh, WordPress team. So in this case, I'm using the WordPress 2020 team. But uh, in case the user has a custom team, uh, we might want to be able to show the single page um, post uh, and still display the um, custom taxonomies that we added. So last time, uh, what we did is uh, to add to our jobs uh, plugin these two taxonomies, so jobs categories and job skills. And what I want to do now is to show them on the front page. So first, let me uh, open VS Code. So let me put VS Code on the side and let me put WordPress on the other side. Uh, okay, what I want to do first is to grab from my Bitbucket account I want to grab uh, let's see I want to grab the Bio Dev WP tools. There's a wrapper around some useful tools for uh, plugins development in WordPress. And let me clone that. Uh, there are no instructions how to use it, but I should remember to do that. So we should just place these inside our plugin folder let me open in the terminal this folder and then uh, we can clone this repository and we should see this new plugin inside our WordPress website. So still cloning it 
and once it finish we can enable the plugin so the plugin is quite big because it's a collection of uh, developer uh, of the developers plugins for WordPress that are used for plugins development or teams development and uh, if you look where it is if you look in it we have the plugin, the developer add-ons so we have uh, the bug bar and a bunch of uh, extension the log viewer uh, query monitor and so on uh, so we can use that so we know when we visit a page if we have an error so we know what's wrong when we are um, developing our plugins or themes should be done in a minute so let's go to our wordpress website and it's the plugin page still cloning the repository and we should be able to see it in here once it finishes in the meantime what we can do is to work a little bit on the structure on the file structure of our plugin so what i want to do is in here have a template file folder And then I will place in here the code from the team. Where is the team? So 2020. Uh, then it should be the singular. It should be the singular, and that requires the template parts. Uh, so let's grab that and then copy it over inside our templates folder so we are what I'm going to do now is to override the plugin uh, the team file for the single um, post type in this case I should call it let me check Yeah. So we should name that. So this is the uh, visualiz visualization of how the WordPress uh, template hierarchy works. I don't want that. And uh, let's see singular. What I need is single and then the post type okay it's going to be that one i'm not wrong let's rename that and that's the job plugin so the post type is single job and we should can delete this stuff but I'm gonna keep that for now and let's go back to the hierarchy, hierarchy page is that done yes okay so the plugin should be available here now I'm refreshing the page and yes we have these development tools available now i'm going to activate it if we don't get any error we should go to go
Okay, that should be active. Yes, we do have that. I don't need that because everything is already inside the plugin bundle. It, despite it doesn't know that, but it's in there. So let's check the website. And let's go back to the jobs archive and let's select one of the jobs. Now we should be able to see here what's the page template that is serving in here. So the template is singular and if we use single job.php uh, it's at the top so it's before in the hierarchies before that so we should be able to override the uh, template file but for now still um, this template file is uh, provided by the team what I want to do is to uh, supply the team uh, the template from the plugin files so we need to grab from a previous plugin I wrote a bit of code because I don't want to write that again. So where is? Let me go back to my repositories and in bit bit bucket there is a plugin I wrote for WordPress that has that and where it is. Should be in this project. Might be this one. Let's check. Yes, it's this one. So we need first to add the line inside our main entry point. So we don't need that for now. We can close everything. So what I want to do is to add a inside this main entry point. I want to add these tracks. So that should be this one. I want to grab this one. So add the filter. So let's do that. Can I close that? Yes, okay. All right, so we need to um, write this function. And in here, what I'm doing inside this, for, inside this function is to grab the global post object and check the current team. And I make another check here if the uh, post, in this case, is project, but in our case, it's going to be um, job and i'm going to check now if the current team is the 2020 and in that case i'm going to uh, supply a team file from here and i'm not going to do the same thing i've done for the 2019 and 2017 if you want you can do that but for this uh, simple plugin i'm happy to to support to give support only for the WordPress 2020 team uh, and probably we will provide a fallback uh, with a uh, template file, generic template file for that. So let's see, uh, we need to add this action, this filter, so add filter and we want to Change the plate. I want to use this function. So it's going to be what's the slug? Um, I don't remember if I wrote the slug somewhere in, on the functions. Probably not because we didn't do that yet. Uh, so every function that we write should have a custom prefix. So we make sure that our functions do not conflict with other functions. So in this case, I'm going to uh, add a four characters prefix. So it's going to be JBFB. So 
KDP as said. So job board and FP is my um, name. FP stands for Fabio. And then the function name is gonna be uh, it's gonna be job single job template work like that and then now we should write a function uh, and the function name is this one and we need to pass a single object and inside this function we grab the global post object and then we check for the current team using the wordpress <coughs> function and that's the get current team Why this is deleted is deprecated WP get team. So it says that we should use the is not we shouldn't you no we should no longer use the get, get current team, but we should use the WP get team. Let's try. And it means style sheet and team rule are these two parameters mandatory or not? Let's check. Uh, let's see what we got when we bar dump the current team variable. That I we should be able to see that somewhere. Uh, so I'm calling this on single template file. I'm not calling this function, I guess. Um, let's try it straight away and then we will check if there is a problem with it or not. So let's do Current team is now we should first check for the post type. So let's grab this line of code. So if the post type is job, so only in this case we want to check if the current team is 2020. Let's grab that. And in this case, we should uh, put so template. Where is templates? Let's create another folder 2020 and move that in here. Okay, so now we should be able to grab this. Okay. Up to here. So this checks for the if the file exists in this plugin path uh, templates 2020 single job 
and the same in here if it if it's in here if it's in here we should return this plugin from this um, template file and that should do it against I'm not sure what this function returns. Let's see if it's if it's working now. Okay, and then we should return the single from this function. So this function out of this return single. Uh, we should be done with it so that's this filter changes the single template template how do you spell template Fabio? we spell it like that okay uh, okay we grab the single template and we, uh, we use the add filter to change uh, the output of the single template and we replace uh, the single template file uh, with what is, what is provided by this function that we wrote uh, so we pass callback function and from here we define that if the current team is the 2020 and if we are viewing a single post so the post type is job and we are uh, uh, using the, the 2020 team, we should uh, instead uh, supply this file if it exists. So, if this file is in the templates 2020 folder, we should return this file. I guess that this return statement means that otherwise we should return the single object, so it should refer to the single template. I'll check that later and let's see what we got. Now let's go back to the single job and see if it works first. So the page still works, we don't have any error, and as you see here, the template uh, is, um, <clears throat> is going to be the file provided by the plugin so jobs board template single so let's check that it's the case uh, let's add something inside the here uh, so before the te template parts we need to grab this content file first to make the change the actual changes that I want to make but for now we check that everything works yeah should be Uh, let's check can we see that yes okay so we know now that the template that we are uh, see that, the beam that we are seeing is uh, the template that we placed inside our plugin so uh, what I want to do is grab the templates part uh, the template parts content so we can change what's in here uh, so it's inside the loop for the 2020 team and we need that so the content part has some um, code so it, it has the actual article um, element and as you see in here it has more uh, stuff like the uh, this future image and the other entry but we don't care about that what we care about is this bit of text before they can keep reading so they continue reading which is should be output over here if we was looking for an excerpt so we should put our code before these next and before arrows so the page navigation 
So we want to output our taxonomy. So let's grab this file and because we are going to override the content of this file and let's put it inside the 2020 folder and let's create another folder was the name uh, template parts so let's grab let's make another folder um, template part and in here we're going to paste our file so now we should be able to see what the difference by adding something let's grab let's first inspect this element let's move it to the bottom okay so the element that we are uh, looking at is the article element where is in here okay that's the article element that you see here in the template file in partial and if we refresh this page this, it works it should be gone if we deleted it yeah okay so we are going to make changes in here of course if we delete everything <laughs> so every bit of text you see that this page is going to be empty no Why not? It was content. Content. Yeah, because we need to change this. Okay, if so in the single template, in the single job.php file, there is a get template part. This means that it will look for this template parts content file inside the template file. So the original template file is going to be the file inside the, temp the team folder. So the 2020 team folder. We need to replace this line of code with actually an include statement. Actually, we need to require we need to require the template parts content.php and that should do it. I'm missing the equal. So the file now, the content file is empty. We should not be able to see anything in here if I'm wrong. Hey, yes, okay, okay. So now the single template file is working correctly as you see we deleted everything inside the content partial and the post is empty let's bring it back because we only want to make a simple change since we are relying on this template file on the main plugin file um, the main template file uh, files so we will keep everything there is inside the content.php file but what we want to do is to output my new taxonomies so where should we put this text let's see where is the edit button using the google inspector so that's the post meta wrapper can we see that somewhere Let's check for it. No, there is no result because this might be in somewhere else. Edit post link, yeah, could be this one. So if I type something up here. is going to appear okay we got that exactly where we want okay and then we should place it inside the inside here I guess because we want to be aligned with the rest of the post <clears throat> 
Let's refresh the page and see if it's moving. It's not moving. So let's check where it should go. So the entry content ends here. And let's try to move this in here. And that's fine. Okay, we need to move it one line up. Let's refresh the page. And that should be fine. Okay. Now we got the spot where we want to put our to output our um, skills taxonomy. I'm not sure, I can't remember right now was the function that we could call so from now uh, so we have a blank um, post single post and we could do a lot of thinking around and probably uh, mess around with loops and things like that but we actually don't need because we can use just a simple function from WordPress. Sorry, guys. And we can use the simple function, and it's the taxonomies and the arguments could be an empty array. And let's define that. I'm gonna be an empty array and that bit of code so that cup that's two lines of code because it's just these two uh, actually turns to be what we need to output to the single post header the uh, job categories and the job skills that we uh, created I'm not sure what arguments we can pass to this we can look a documentation for that let's see if there is something that we can see so we have a string before evaporator and the after yeah so we can um, change what it used before the uh, I guess this one and what's after and we can change the default separator let's check that so it's in this div and it's using an anchor tag so this hey here and if we change the before to something else i'm not sure what Probably wraps everything around. Um, before and after. Can we just say that? Yeah. It's gonna be. It's gonna be a. Say a span element. And a comma. And then after, it's gonna be a span closing element. And then we could say the separator. It's gonna be just this thing. Is that working? Let's check if that works the way we expect. No. Why not? Yeah, I've wrapped everything around the span, but it seems not probably a misspelled separator. In fact, it's sep. Separator is sep, S E P, and let's see if it works now. And it works, so it separates the job category with the, with the job skill. I want to be PR. So I want to be a new line. Okay, that's that looks much better. 
okay and we don't need to wrap this around the span but we can use the div and get rid of this and i mean that's it i guess that's fine that's what we wanted okay yeah well uh that's pretty much it for this video that's all i wanted to do let's check if this link actually works so that should redirect me to a software engineering page and all the jobs for the software engineering and let's check a job skills gives me 404 I'm not sure why uh, we can check that later probably because yes the team doesn't have a job skill page because it gives me the 404 because the plate page for these job skills is not here i guess i'm not sure i need to think around but we could say that we did what we wanted in the next video i'm going to show you how to fix this probably <laughs> unless it bit weird to do that let's get rid of this that we don't need so we see everything clearly so for now we have all implemented the single page so when you visit the where it is come on open up so when you visit this single post single job why is not opening the menu? Okay, you reach the jobs archive and you see all the jobs. And you have only a the text that you write for now. We did not output skills, but I want to do that and I'll do that in the next video. And for now, you can just click. I'm not sure if backend has something written for the skills. Yes, it has job skills. So you see the job skills at the end of your post correctly and if you can scroll forward and see the next post and you see the job categories uh, which is the um, custom taxonomy. If we had more custom taxonomy it would all look like that so one per line and list all the things that are required for the job or information for the job so that's going to be the the case for the category and that's going to be the case for the uh, skills when we click on the skill on one of the skills we could be uh, redirected to a a page like an archive page in this case it's going to be a taxonomy page for all the uh, jobs that have that skill uh, inside their list so that's going to be the next thing that we will uh, work on for now uh, that's it and we have successfully completed this task and see you in the next video guys cheers